Lestarsky et le Hutch ou Lestarsky avec le Hutch. Will she start back up? Should they? I've paid less for this car with insurance than some people spend on a watch. It's farting and spluttering. I don't want to live long anyway. Yeah, it's not a motorbike like car. Look at this. Beautiful. I said I was going to start making videos today. I've accidentally gone to view a car. It's totally oddball, 100% ULES free, tax free, MOT free, so it's way older than anything that I normally buy. I found it on eBay last night, and then the more I looked at it, I, I, like, I kept going back and looking at the pictures, and then I was like, all right, forget it. I've got to go and have a look. That's not going to work. I bought it, 1969 Renault 10. It runs and drives all sweet. It seems safe enough. Um, it's tax free, it's MOT free, it's ULES free, and my insurance was £102. I don't know if it's going to make it home, but I've got breakdown cover, so I'm going to put in some premium fuel and some Red X, uh, and then we're going to try and make the 40 mile run home in my new Renault. I love it, it's got a lot of character. My phone battery is dying. I don't have any bank cards because I've lost my wallet, but I'm confident we're running on sunshine. I put some fuel in. I have no idea how much to put in. I've never had a car this old. I put 50 quid in. What's that? It's only 29 liters. That should get me home. We're running on sunshine and iron, bro, and hopes and dreams. Will she start back up? Should they? No fire. I'm on school pickup today. I'm meant to be picking the kids up. So really. This is a terrible idea, because if I don't make it home, it should be all right. It's quite exciting, isn't it? Maybe I can display this at the NEC Classic Car Show. But I just love that it looks a little bit Starsky and Hutch. Get looking at the pictures, like that's ace. So it's a South African import, so it doesn't really have much rust. 1.3, I know next to nothing about these cars, but that doesn't mean I can't own one. Oil pressure's okay, battery's okay. Temperature is okay, fuel is fine, speedo works, clock doesn't, clock doesn't work. I've paid less for this car with insurance than some people spend on a watch. I don't even wear a watch. Skirt, we're skirting around the bottom side of Birmingham. I've obviously gone avoid motorways, because I don't want to drive this on a motorway yet, but all is well in the Renault. I reckon we might even make it in time to pick the kids up could risk the motorway. Should we risk it? Just to put one on all those smart motorway people. The motorways were built in what? The 50s and 60s? Perfectly adequate car for driving on roads like this. Let's try it. Ooh, that's the brake. Just went for the clutch and hit the brake. Oh, oh, oh. If I get a couple of junctions down, it cuts out a massive part of that journey. So it was saying an hour to get home, but by going on the motorway, I've halved my time. So there you go. Motorways do work. Well, we're running, we're, we're gaining temperature. I wonder if I can get that temperature back down. Okay, we're all right. We're at 60 mile an hour. Temperature's staying fairly consistent. Oil pressure, okay. Battery, okay. I'm not enjoying it though, so I think I'm gonna come off the motorway. Slowing down brings the temperature down and brings my blood pressure down. So, temp's coming back down a bit. Feeling a bit better about that. If I can make it one more junction on the motorway, it makes my life so much easier. So it's just a case of finding the sweet spot. I'm driving barefoot, so I can be super sensitive on the throttle. I just balance my foot, just keep it in the perfect position for where the engine sounds sweetest. Okay. Still farting quite a bit, but slower speed. 
higher speeds. Not a motorway car. I mean, if you're used to living your life with a very high level of stress and chaos, this is nothing. But if you're the sort of person that would have, I don't know, looked underneath it before you bought it, maybe the stress and chaos is too much for you. I don't want to live long anyway. But there's no point me stopping now and breaking down. I might as well wait till I get closer to home to break down. I'm going to break down, break down closer to home. And it is died at my photo spot, but it's dead, as you can hear. Look, listen. Won't go at all. So I'm gonna have to get Lyndon. Uh, I'll call recovery, and then I'll get Lyndon to help me work out what's wrong with it. If this is one of those situations where you need good friends. My friend James has rescued me by picking me up from the pub, taking me to his house where my Fiesta was. So we now have transport and Lyndon is on his way down to see if we can get the Renault started and running. It is now almost starting. Can a starter motor get too hot? Can a starter motor just decide that it wants to go to the pub? Lyndon in his Mini has saved the day by bringing a 10 mil spanner and stealing the battery off the Fiesta. So with the Fiesta battery, the I keep wanting to call it a Fiat, it's not a Fiat, the Renault runs. Yeah, give it some. Sounds fairly sweet. I say it drove fine. All right, let's get it down to the unit then and um, go from there. I'll go pay the bill at the bar. It was actually a dead battery, but I don't think I've got any brakes now. But we're gonna do what I was hoping to do, take it down to Lyndon's unit, spend a good day with the car and just go over everything, go over the brakes, uh, lubricate everything that needs lubricating, fix everything that needs fixing and make sure we've got something safe. I've just priced up a set of tires. Uh, it's like 38 quid for a tire. So it's gonna be a nice cheap car for bits, but we've gotta get it running right first and we've gotta, most importantly, make, I have got brakes there, but they're just not great. Um, so maybe the brakes are fading out, but that's it. We're up and running. We'll get it in the unit. I haven't got much battery to do much more filming. So we're gonna drive it down there and then um, we'll be sweet. Lestarsky, would it be AVEC or A? E.T. Not E.T. Any French speakers in the comments? Lestarsky A Le Hutch or Lestarsky AVEC Le Hutch? Four of them. Four. Put it, put it back up so that there's two. Probably you're going to hide your badges, that's the only problem. I can live with that. That looks amazing. But you are right. Do it, do it so there's two again. So one below. <laughs> yeah. It's already better without the number plate on. Yeah. Lestarsky Ayla Hutch is coming along nicely. Yeah. All right. So we're going to need to buy some spotlights. In the bonnet. Yeah, you can have the briefcase, mate. Bring the parts over that were in the briefcase and we'll put them in here. What is that? It looks like something you put a stool sample in, but I think it's the washer bottle. Well, there's a washer bottle here, which is tiny, but it looks like it's got honey in it. Oh, that ain't got honey in it. Does that stink? <laughs> <laughs> so we've got, um, is that two steering columns? Not steering columns, what do I mean? Yeah, sort of. So, top half of a steering top column. Steering Broken column. manifold. Two headlights or one? No, I thought I saw a second. But second headlight somewhere. Um, another dizzy. It's a Desellier. Um, oh, that is real thin. Far gone. Look at that. Yeah. Well, that's a shame because that's a little four branch. Yeah. Don't worry about that. Uh, chrome headlight surrounds, maybe. Yes, mate. What you got? 